In this and two other videos, I wish to talk about some of the numerous differences of a few Chinese stamp series, primarily definitives. For starters, the stamps of 1931 and 1934, or 1931 through 1934, I should say. These come in two types, the type 1 at the top and the type 2 at the bottom. These are basically easy to differentiate by the circular emblem in the top panel of the top row, all three stamps have a uh, two-ring circular design. And on the bottom, the type two, we're looking at a solid wide circular design in the emblem. So basically, at a glance, anybody should be able to tell the difference between the two types. Martyr series. The regular issue was done in 1932 through 1934, at uh, also having a perforation 14. The second issue was done in 1940 to 41, and they have a secret mark, and in this case, uh, it's of the no watermark variety, and they do come in two perfs, a perf 12.5 and a perf 13. The difference between the uh, first series and the second series primarily is also the secret mark. In the regular issue, in the bottom panel, you have the first character, um, two parts of it are separated. There is no connection between, whereas on the secret mark series, you have a horizontal connector between the two parts of the first character in the bottom panel. Maybe it's easier to see on a darker stamp. Right here, the connection. Up here, no connection. And again, no connection. And a connection on the 28. So also not too difficult unless you know, the cancel is right over it, which I also encounter, then it becomes a little bit more uh, difficult to see the differences. The third martyr issue of 1940 to 41, again, uh, does have the secret mark, the connection of the two, two parts of the first character as well as they are with watermarks. And here we have two Martyr series stamps um, with an overprint. Well, in order to differentiate, again, we should always focus on the basic stamp first to identify it properly. In this case, we have the regular issue of 1932 to 34, which does not show a secret mark. And on the uh, right side, the 1940-41 series, which does show the secret mark, as I explained before. So now it would be much easier knowing what you are looking at uh, which overprint this uh, is. The 
Another series uh, of 1939 um, and 1940. The regular issue, 1939, is this one here. Um, typically, we have nine shading lines above the head, and we have uh, shading across the top panel right here very fine shading vertical shading and we have a circular coat button complete circular on the re-engraved stamp uh, we are looking at the twos which have a kind of a hook like line from the tail to the bottom of the uh, two, whereas the regular series has just a little straight stub or line, if you wish. And that is a difference between the re-engraved on the right and the regular issue on the left. Both are perforated 12 and a half, and neither one are watermarked that are shown here. I do not have examples of every single uh, variation of any of these series, but those that I do have available are the ones that I'm trying to explain or talk about. And here, once again, the regular issue, uh, two enlargements, the regular at the top, just that little straight little stub. And on the bottom, again, almost looks like a curvature or little hook or whatever you wish to call it. And now we're going into the five cent uh, stamp. The original upper right character is joined at the bottom. And that is a little bit hard to see because this whole character is somewhat deformed. And I unfortunately did not have a better example to show to you. But I will show it on the right stamp. Um, which is the re-engraved and uh, has the secret mark. And right here is what I'm talking. This location on the secret mark stamp, which this is right here, uh, is a separation between this part and that part of the character, with that line right here. This one it is joined on the regular issue. And the one on the left does have a perforation 12 and a half, and the one on the right a perforation of 14, which also includes the watermark and the secret mark, as I just explained. Okay, here we have the enlargement of the upper panel. Again, this one here is totally uh, distorted. I don't know what happened. Printing flaw, perhaps, or worn plates or what have you. And here we have the secret mark, that line separating these two parts of that particular character. Also, we have to check the coat button. And under magnification, yes, I can see a complete coat button here and also a coat button here. And as explained before, uh, the nine shading lines and the fully shaded um, frame line at the top. 
here and here. And the eight cent, two of three issues. The 1939 with the perf 12 and a half and the 1940 per 14, no watermark, but secret mark. And here, the secret mark, uh, all the uh, parts of the character on the upper right panel uh, are all, most all, uh, joined. On the original issue in this case, those parts are all separated and rather very crisp and clear. And the third issue, as I mentioned down here, is basically as the right stamp, uh, except it does have a watermark. And again, the enlargement of the regular issue, nice, crisp, clear parts of the character in the upper right and on the Secret Mark series, uh, most parts are joined. The Tencent uh, of the 1939 issue. Uh, the 1939 issue, again, perforation 12 and a half and the 1940 uh, with a secret mark, um, perforation 14. And again, no watermark. And again, I emphasize the third issue, uh, similar to this stamp here. The only difference, it does have a watermark. So, uh, and a secret mark. And the secret mark is also um, in the character in the upper right, which is not very nicely defined, where it is better defined and clearer on the first or second uh, uh, regular issue, on the first regular issue, sorry. Uh, so, here we have it again, the upper stamp of 1939 and the 1940 issue. Yeah, unfortunately, my enlargements, I cannot get them any clearer. I apologize for that. Uh, but uh, this is the best I can do. I hope you can see the differences. Basically, also, the left upper character does show uh, quite a difference in the appearance of it. So check those two closely. And then we have a few more issues. Uh, on the left, we have the 1939 issue, uh, the regular one, with a perf 12 and a half. On the middle, we have a 1940 issue, perf 14. And on the right, uh, these two, a perf 14 with a watermark. So, all kinds of interesting things to look for. This is what makes our hobby so interesting. And then we have the um, dollar stamps. Uh, this one is the five dollar and uh, the 1939 issue with um, perforation 12 and a half nine horizontal lines again 
above the head, uh, top frame fully shaded right here, and coat button complete circle. And maybe you can see that on this one, it shows a little better. And the catalog calls this, as all the others in the 1939 issue, as a Type 3. And we go to the $1 series, or stamp. The 1940 issue is a per 14 with no watermark, this one. Uh, has nine lines. Again, top frame line fully shaded. And uh, the same uh, on the right stamp. Also complete button on both. But the right stamp does have the secret mark. And that one is the left character. And again, this is rather difficult to probably see on my video. But if you compare the two, um, there is a difference. Uh, the original uh, regular series it typically uh, is a little bit clearer and more defined. The 1940 issue of the $2 in the per 14, no watermark, but secret mark. And this one here uh, is where there's a separation on this character on the upper left. And um, we have also uh, the stamp on the right, uh, basically the same stamp. Um, both of them no watermark and both per 14. So in conclusion, I, I would recommend, or I feel for myself even, to identify the basic original stamp, uh, perforation, watermark, etc., etc., should make it a lot easier to identify the correct overprinted stamp. Much easier. Uh, try it. Maybe you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you wish. I'd appreciate it. Well, I hope I didn't stutter too badly uh, in doing this video and uh, hopefully uh, you might consider giving me a thumbs up, and even better, if you subscribe to my channel, to my past and future videos. Thank you so very much for watching. After analyzing uh, stamps, basic stamps, as I indicated, I find it easier uh, then to, you know, uh, decipher uh, which overprint uh, is the correct one or to what area it belongs or uh, perhaps uh, province or uh, so many overprints exist on Chinese stamps that uh, uh, I feel myself it makes it easier identifying your stamp first and then get into the overprint. But again, <laughs> it's just my opinion, so I just pass it along. My channel, Stamps, Space, 
my fun things.